What's up, people? Are you ready to get moving? Because that's what we've been talking about this month here at 212 Kids, moving in our faith towards Jesus. Guys, when you put your faith in God and when you move in your faith, God can move you to do a bunch of different things. God can move you to show love to a friend that's having a tough time at school. God can move you to share what you have with someone that doesn't have something. God can move you to do something to help people in your community or around the world. Because when you have faith, God can show his love through you here, there, and everywhere. And what is faith exactly? Well, here's faith. It's this, trusting in what you can't see because of what you can see. We're going to get to our Bible story here today that's going to help us move more in our faith towards Jesus. But let's do this. Let's get up and move in praise and worship and tell God how much we love him. But before we do that, let's watch this. If you stepped outside right now, what would you see? Maybe you'd see high blue sky overhead filled with towering white clouds. Maybe you'd see crowds of people, each with their own unique look and flair. Maybe you'd see leafy trees with colorful birds swooping through their branches. Maybe you'd see tall, intricately designed buildings or vast mountains. From the rough mosaic bark on a tree to the fine lines of blood vessels just beneath your skin. Every bit of it is God's handiwork, or the work of people God created and inspired. Paul writes in his letter to the church in Rome, ever since the world was created, it has been possible to see the qualities of God that are not seen. As you look at the world around you, it's impossible not to see the fingerprints of God, to see God's power, imagination, and faithfulness. Seeing what God has created and hearing stories about the wonderful things God has done can lead us to trust God more and more. And when you trust God, you're ready to make a move. As you begin to rely on God to help you face your challenges each day, others can see God at work. That's why faith is an amazing way to worship God with your life. Because worship is about more than just singing loud, it's all about living loud.
way to move to worship God, guys. Good job. Well, listen, every, t every day here at 212 Kids, we've been moving through God's big story. And we've talked a lot about God's son, Jesus, because he is the most important person that's ever lived. And we talked about how God sent Jesus, his son, to be the savior of the world and how Jesus died on the cross for our sins, but then came back to life. We've also seen how Jesus's friends, the disciples, went around sharing with everybody the good news about Jesus. And they told people not just about Jesus, but that they needed to put their faith in Jesus. And soon there were people gathering all sorts of places that had chosen to believe and follow Jesus. Now, in the book of Acts, we can read about the early church and we can see how that church began to grow through the power and help of the Holy Spirit. And just so you know, it wasn't easy for these early Jesus followers because they were surrounded by a lot of people who didn't believe that Jesus really is God's son. And they actually got angry at the early church followers that were trying to spread the name of Jesus. But these Jesus followers were brave and decided not to move out of Jerusalem where they were getting the most attacks, but to stay in Jerusalem. Well, at that time, there was a king that ruled over the land in Judea, where the city of Jerusalem was, and his name was Herod. Now, King Herod served the Roman government, and he thought that arresting and killing the followers of Jesus pleased the people that he ruled over who didn't follow Jesus. So, he'd already arrested a bunch of believers, and check this out, he decided that he wanted to arrest one of Jesus' most famous disciples, Peter. And remember, Peter was the disciple that actually full of the Holy Spirit got up and shared Jesus after he had died and 3,000 people had chosen to believe in Jesus. So Peter was a great follower of Christ. Peter told everyone about the good news of Jesus and this made the religious leaders very angry because they wanted to stop people from believing in Jesus once and for all. Well, King Herod wanted the people he ruled over to like him, so he told his soldiers to go and arrest Peter. Now, you should know that Peter and some of the other followers of Jesus, they had been arrested before, but somehow they had mysteriously broken out of prison and shown up in the temple, the church, the very next day. So this time, King Herod sent four groups of four soldiers. Guys, that's 16 men to carefully watch Peter. Peter was even chained between two soldiers. But while Peter was chained up in prison, there were others in the church who were praying for him. It was the night before King Herod was planning to put Peter on trial and Peter was sleeping and he was still chained between these two guards when suddenly a bright light shone in the prison cell and an angel actually appeared to Peter. The angel poked Peter on his side to wake him up. And Peter was so much coming out of sleep that he didn't even realize what was happening. Suddenly, the chains that were around his arms fell off and he was able to be free. The angel told, the angel told Peter to get up, put his clothes and his sandals and his coat on and follow him out of prison. The whole time that Peter was seeing this angel, he thought that it was just a vision, a dream that it wasn't real. Well, they passed the first set of guards and then the second set of guards, they got to the city gate and it actually opened on its own. And they went down the street and suddenly the angel disappeared. Well, Peter realized what had happened. And he said this in Acts chapter 12, verse 11. Now I know for sure that the Lord has sent his angel. He has set me free from Herod's power. Man, that is wild, right? Well, once Peter was free, he went to the house of a woman named Mary. And lots of people were gathered there at Mary's house to pray for him and his trial that was supposed to happen the next day. Well, suddenly, as they were praying, they heard a knock at the door. Inside, a servant that was there 
Her name was Rhoda. She went to answer. Rhoda heard Peter's voice on the other side of the door and she couldn't believe it. She was so excited, she ran back to tell the other believers without even letting Peter in. She shouted, Peter's at the door. But none of the other believers actually believed her. But still, Rhoda insisted it was him. Meanwhile, outside, Peter kept knocking and knocking and knocking. Finally, they opened the door and they saw that it was really him. Peter shushed the crowd with his hands and then told them all that had happened, how the angel had helped him escape from prison. Well, after Peter told everyone what had happened to him, he left. In the morning, the prison guards were totally shocked to find out that he was gone and they couldn't figure out how he had escaped. They looked everywhere, but they couldn't find him. And King Herod was furious. Herod questioned the guards closely, but he couldn't figure out either. And he was so mad that he actually put those guards to death. Well, despite all of this, the early church continued to grow. They had faith in God, even when they were in some pretty tough situations. I mean, think about it. Peter could have easily felt stuck when Herod threw him into prison. But at the same time, he knew that God was with him. And that's exactly what you and I need to remember today, is that God is with you even when you feel stuck. Guys, all of us are going to face situations in life where there are sticky situations, tough situations where we don't know what we're going to do. But we have to remember that we never face these tough challenges alone, that we can have faith that God is always going to be with us no matter what. Let's stop and pray and thank God for his faithfulness. God, we thank you for today and for this amazing true story of how Peter found himself in a tough, difficult situation. But God, he wasn't alone. And even though he felt stuck, he knew he could trust in you to help him. And God, thank you for freeing him. And thank you, God, when we find ourselves in tough situations, that you'll help us to get unstuck and be there for us as well. We thank you for that, God. In Jesus' name, amen. Sometimes things are out of my control And sometimes I don't understand why the rolling thunder rolls But when the rain falls from the sky The grass turns green, the flowers bloom And I stop asking why Because I know with hope there's always a better tomorrow It's hard to believe the best But you can't win if you give up Even if it doesn't work out like I planned I'm choosing to believe And I know it's hard to understand We can't always see the plan But we have our choice and this is mine I'm choosing to believe
Guys, Peter found himself in a very sticky situation. He was stuck in prison, literally chained between two guards. But he also had the believers praying for him, and God answered their prayers and sent the angel to free him. Guys, if we're honest, sometimes we feel stuck too. Maybe you feel stuck and you really want to learn how to swim this summer, but the deep end of the pool kind of scares you. You may feel stuck at home because all your friends are talking about these fun summer trips that they're going to and maybe you don't have anything fun to do. Maybe you feel something in your life is just stuck and it's not going right. And when this happens, we need to remember that God is with us even when we feel stuck. We can have faith in God that he cares about us and he wants to help us. Whether we're scared or bored or happy or sad or nervous or frustrated or excited, through all of those ups and downs, God is always there with us. When we face tough things in our lives, we sometimes feel that nothing is ever going to change. But remember, we can always go to God and talk to him about how we're feeling. And we can ask him to give us peace and strength. That is what growing in our faith is all about. Knowing that we can trust that God is going to help us no matter what. Well, guys, this was an awesome month here as we learned to move in our faith towards Jesus. But guess what? We're not done because July, the whole month, is also going to be about how we can move in our faith. So until next week, have a great week, and we'll see you next time here at 212 Kids. Hey guys, be sure to click here to watch another episode of 212 Kids and click here to subscribe so you don't miss any of our upcoming episodes.